Hey there, Canonites. As I'm sure most of you are aware by now, there's been another live action trailer. Similar to the Duel, Cost, and All Hail trailers, this one ties into a hero's fall, but reveals what I think a lot of us already figured out. The Chief's death was an Oni lie, one directly related to Osiris' task of hunting down Blue Team. So, let's get into it and break it all down. The trailer opens on Meridian, the Chief running across the surface as a Guardian awakens. Throughout the trailer, we can hear narration from an unknown UNSC or Oni official. The voice, at least to me, is unfamiliar, so likely a new character. If he'll be identified either in Halo 5 or Hunt the Truth, remains to be seen. The trailer briefly cuts to Osiris presumably being deployed to Meridian. We then cut back to the Chief, soon joined by Blue Team running through the streets of Meridian as buildings crumble down and people cry out for help. Throughout, the UNSC official talks about how the Chief seems to be activating the Guardians, recruiting others, aka Blue Team, to his cause, and apparently, killing civilians. Throughout, we do cut to Osiris as they get ready to deploy. Now interestingly, after Locke stands up, he bumps his helmet against Tanaka. In classic stories, this is usually done between two people that share a strong bond. I don't know if that's meant to say that Locke and Tanaka share a special sort of bond, or if I'm just reading too much into that action. Assuming they do have some sort of special bond, I would like to point out that doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. A man and a woman can be close, without being romantically involved. Anyway, after Osiris gears up, we get more action with the Chief and Blue Team. And damn, is it awesome to see Blue Team in these live-action trailers, finally! Actually, it's awesome to see these trailers finally acknowledge the full teams. Interestingly, aside from the Chief, it seems that the trailer focuses a lot on Linda. Now, as the trailer goes on, we see the familiar scene of the Guardian flattening the city, burying the Chief in rubble. However, as Fred and Kelly provide cover fire, Linda lifts the rubble off the Chief. Their narrator, meanwhile, confirms what many fans had theorized. Oni declared the Chief dead to avoid declaring a former hero a traitor. Osiris is, of course, being deployed to clean up after the Chief and Blue Team, bringing them back ideally, killing them if necessary. The trailer then ends with the Chief's visor lighting up again, and Locke saying, Let's hunt him down. Damn, this trailer is just perfect! It gives people a great idea of what Halo 5 is about, what both teams are doing, while fascinating people with the deeper truth. God damn, I can say this is probably the best live-action Halo trailer since Landfall. But that pretty much does it for this trailer. It's pretty straightforward and doesn't really bring anything into question that we haven't already discussed. It only does what it's meant to do. Build the hype. And seriously, are you not hype? However, we do have one other thing to discuss, briefly, before we go. Remember that site I talked about in the recent Hunt the Truth update? The one that was dedicated to the Chief's memory? Well, it's changed. Now we have Locke's helmet front and center. There's not much else to say, but it makes me wonder what other sort of changes we might see in the upcoming weeks. But that's all for now. Thanks for joining me as always. Until next time, this has been Halo Cannon, and may you all continue to shine. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.